Hey folks, this is Dr. Double w. We're going to be talking about uh, how to solve problems involving half-lives. A half-life is what we use to describe the how fast a decay process happens for a radioactive element. Okay, Think about a half-life in terms of the original amount that we start with. Okay, So if we start with 100% of our material, over time it's going to decay. It's going to disappear. Okay. A half-life is how much time it takes to get from 100 to 50% of the material, okay? That's going to be the length of our half-life, and we denote that by T1 half, okay? Now, if we start at 50% and go to 25%, right, divided by half again, it's going to be that same amount of time, all right? So that's what a half-life is, okay? So the purpose of this video is to describe how to solve problems involving half-lives, okay? Now, the first step of any of these problems is to define your variables, okay? So, figure out what you know and what you don't know, okay? And our four vari variables for these problems are going to be these right here. What's our total decay time? What's the half-life of our substance? What's our initial amount and what's our uh, amount at uh, after our decay occurs. So let's look at this problem and see if we can find out what these variables are going to be. Half-life of cesium-137 is 30.2 years. Okay, so that goes right here. The initial mass of a sample of cesium-137 is 1 kilogram. That's our initial mass, right? How much will remain after 151 years? So after 151 years, how much is there going to be? Well, the second step is to find the number of half-lives. And the way we do that is by looking at the variable okay, that we have two values for. And in, in, in this case, it's going to be our time variables. Okay? Now, to find the number of half-lives, simply take the total time and divide by the length of a half-life. That's going to give you our number of half-lives. So, 151 years divided by 30.2 years, that's going to equal five half-lives, okay? So season 137 goes through five half-lives in 151 years. Now, the second step is to, is to utilize the equation, okay? And the equation looks like this. MT, mass T, equals our initial mass divided by two, and in the exponent we have the number of half-lives. Now we simply plug in our variables. 1.00 kilograms divided by 2 to the fifth. Okay? And this is going to end up equaling 0 0.03125 kilograms. Okay? So, after five half-lives and 151 years, Cesium-137 decays from 1 kilogram to 0 0.03125 kilograms, okay? This next problem is a little bit different, but we're going to start the same way, okay? Let's define our variables. What's our M? What's our mass? At our, our initial mass and our final mass. What's our time that the decay process occurs, occurs over? And what's our length of our half-life, okay? Let's try to pick those numbers out of this equation. So the half-life of carbon is that long. Okay, great. So let's take 5,730, put it right here. If it originally contained 24 grams of carbon-14, so that's going to go right here. It now contains 1.5 grams, so that goes right here. It's always the smaller number that goes for the MT value, okay? How old is the sample, okay? This is our variable here. This is what we want to figure out. Well, the second step's the same as the other problem. Let's just find the number of half-lives. Okay? To do this, we're going to use our two variables that we know, okay? The two mass variables that we have, okay? And it's a little bit different. Think about it like this. You've got 24 grams, and you're going to 1.5 grams. How many times do we have to divide by 2 to get there? Okay? Well, 
24 divided by 2 is going to give me 12. Okay? 12 divided by 2 is going to give me 6. Let's divide 6 by 2. That gives me 3. And then if we divide 3 by 2, that ends up equaling our amount. Okay? So how many times do we have to divide by 2? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? That means carbon-14 underwent four half-lives. Okay? Now, since we have four half-lives and we know the length of each half-life, which is 5,730 years, if we multiply four times 5,730 years, that's going to give us our total time, won't it? 22,920 years. Okay? So, different sort of problem, okay? but we can solve for the variable that we want. Okay? For this next problem, let's see if you can do this on your own at home. Okay? Pause the screen and try to work through this problem on your own, okay, to see if you understand it. See or understand how to do it. Okay? I'm going to work through it silently right now. Now, our total time is 12.5 hours, right? And five half-lives occurs in that time. So the length of each half-life would be 2.5 hours. Okay, so hopefully this helps if you're struggling with these problems. Uh, and uh, I will see you next time. This is Dr. W signing out. Thanks a lot.